Hi, my name is Carly Blacksell and welcome to the Human Happiness video tutorial on Reiki, an information session. Uh, so first of all, I'll let you know what Reiki is. Uh, Reiki is a, a non-invasive, uh, hands-on uh, and very effective, very potent healing therapy. It's actually becoming very widely accepted amongst uh, mainstream practitioners, um, health practitioners over in the US. Um, a lot of doctors in hospitals and nurses in hospitals are starting to call upon the services of Reiki practitioners to actually come into the wards and to assist people um, and also even to come into surgical procedures, helping people with all sorts of ailments from, um, from anxiety, depression, to um, illnesses themselves, um, from cancer, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, and healing from surgeries, etc. Uh, so, um, your Reiki practitioner um, is someone who's actually been attuned to receive um, what's called the universal life force energy, which is actually what Reiki means. Um, so, they're able to channel through themselves energy, healing energy, that can actually go into your body. Um, and when you actually receive the Reiki treatment, your body instinctively knows where that energy needs to be directed. Um, so the practitioner will instinctively know where to actually direct that energy once they start to work on your body. Um, the way that you'll actually, um, universal life force energy itself, um, you can't actually see um, in the visible spectrum, but you can definitely feel it when you're actually receiving a treatment. Um, you may feel tingling um, on the uh, sensations on the spot where the where the Reiki, Reiki um, practitioner is actually working on, or you might feel pins and needles at your extremities, like at your fingertips or at your feet. Um, you may feel um, quite a bit of heat at the place where the practitioner is working at, uh, vibrations, um, or a sensation of feeling quite light so you can actually um, uh, get a, a real life experience of what that universal life force energy is now that energy I'm talking about is actually our prana so everybody has this universal life force energy in them they have a prana which is their life force energy it's what actually makes us alive um, it keeps us healthy and keeps us well um, it keeps our wellness and when of course it's out of balance um, that's when we start to have illnesses um, and start to have traumas and, and, and things start to get out of balance and so a Reiki practitioner their job is to actually just bring more of that energy in and, and have it directed into the space in your body where it's needed most. So if you're, you're suffering from something in your, in your heart, for instance, the energy will go there. If it's in your stomach, if it's in your, if it's in your head or your ears or the back of your head, that's where, that's where the energy will naturally go because your body knows where to, where to direct it. Um, now what to expect in an actual um, Reiki session? Um, initially uh, you would be expected to fill out a health form which will let the practitioner know um, what ailments you're actually having at the moment, uh, what it is that you're, you're dealing with at the moment, um, with your body, with your life, um, with, with what it is that you're up against basically. Um, and the practitioner will have a little chat about um, what, you know, what they will actually be doing. And then usually you'll start a, a session laying on your back, faced up, and the practitioner will um, will place their hands or just hover their hands above your body. Um, I like to actually place the hands on um, the body, starting usually systematically with um, over the eyes, just over here but upside down. So I'd be, I'd be standing um, at the back of your head and have the hands over there and then systematically work my way down the body um, on certain spots. Um, but um, a good practitioner will actually be able to instinctively work out pretty soon after actually starting on the body what part of the body needs the energy the most and they may very quickly move their way down to that part of the body um, and um, yeah and so through this through that session it's usually for about an hour through that session you'll um, uh, you may, as I said, experience those sensations. Um, of course, this is energy um, that's uh, negative energy that's in your body that's trapped, that's trying to come out as well. Um, so you may feel um, a little bit of pain in certain areas, and if you tell the practitioner where the pain is, they'll be able to actually pull the pain out, um, and which basically is removing that energy that's blocked in your body that's been sitting there for so long um, and causing you all of this stress. And of course, the universal life force energy will be flowing in as well at the same time. So there's a two-way street here. The, um, the prana energy, the universal life force energy comes in through the practitioner, through their hands and into your body, into the spots where your body needs it and also um, the practitioner will be able to actually remove um, 
the negative energy that's blocked in your, in your body that um, that you're willing to release. Um, it is very much about um, what you're willing to actually release and what you're willing to accept. Um, so if you go in with an open mind and say, yes, I'm, I'm ready to, to move forward, I'm ready to heal from whatever this thing is that I'm dealing with, whether it be a physical um, ailment or whether it be an emotional ailment um, or, a, or a situation in your life, and if you're willing to, to be open to that, then a lot of the energy will flow out and a lot of the energy will come in. Um, I could stand there for, for three or four hours working on someone, but if they're not prepared to actually let go of the, the blocked energy that's sitting in there, there's no way I'll be able to get it out. Um, now, um, a little bit of um, information on how to choose a Reiki practitioner. Um, the first thing I'd say is, is um, I'll be sure that they're certified um, and that they're insured. One of the quickest ways to do that is to check whether they're um, a member of, um, well, for instance, like Reiki Australia, because I'm in Australia, so um, check um, uh, an institution that actually checks these things, okay? So Reiki Australia has a very high standard um, for their Reiki practitioners. Um, preferably get yourself a Reiki master, because that person has actually worked through the three levels of Reiki training, and they've, they've gone through a, a quite a significant spiritual journey um, to get to Reiki master. and. Um, you would expect a Reiki master, especially someone who's certified with Reiki Australia, um, to actually be living the, li the lifestyle of a Reiki master. So not just be doing it as a job, but actually be living and breathing uh, Reiki master. Um, uh, which means um, sort of being attuned to the universal life force energy at all times. Um, you also want a practitioner, preferably, who's a very clear channel. Um, and what I mean by that is um, that they're not blocked okay so they don't have a lot of emotional blockages they don't have a lot of bad stuff going on in their life um, when you go to their their place there doesn't seem to be a lot of clutter and, and, and everything seems to be in order um, and they seem to be a fairly happy kind of a person okay um, and the other thing is I mean you could ask um, uh, but you'll know anyway once you start having the um, the session from them you, um, find out whether they're they're actually leading a fairly non-toxic life um, and what I mean by that is what food are they putting into their mouth? Um, you probably can't ask this if you're a practitioner, but um, I know for myself, now that I'm vegan and I'm, um, so that means I'm meat free, I'm dairy free, I'm egg free, I'm also sugar free, I'm also caffeine free, I'm alcohol free, I'm completely drug free, I don't take any drugs, I don't even take Panadol, um, I don't... Um, I don't entertain watching the news at all. Um, I listen to quick news snippets in the morning on the radio and that, that will give me my general overview of what's going on in the world. Um, and I tend to, st I don't watch any television at all. I haven't watched any television for more than two years. Um, and I spend a lot of time out in nature. And of course I do yoga. Um, so that makes me an extremely clear channel um, for the universal life force energy. And so what will happen is when you get someone who's very clear like that, um, very clean and clear, a clear channel, you'll get a much stronger signal of the universal life force energy coming through. Um, and you'll also get a much clearer um, removal of the negative energy that you're experiencing. So try to find a practitioner who actually has those um, those beliefs and values and who is actually leading um, a yogic life. Um, uh, the, the way of the yogi um, would be really preferable um, and also a, a, a Reiki master life. Um, you'll get a much stronger and more powerful session out of it. Um, when to expect results? It's going to be entirely up to you and your body and what your body's ready to do, okay? Um, your body um, has incredible intelligence and it knows what it's ready to let go of and um, what it needs to just hold on to for a little bit, okay? If you go in with an open mind, ready to release um, and ready to accept, um, then what's, re what's right to be done that day will be done, okay? A good practitioner will also be very careful to make sure that you don't overdo it okay because if you overdo it you end up going into a healing crisis okay what we do um, like to call a healing crisis which is uh, when basically you heal too quickly okay and you end up just basically like crying and being quite emotional for, for several days um, you can actually become quite um, unable to to function normally for a couple of days if if the practitioner doesn't watch what it is that you're going through so a, a trained practitioner a Reiki master will actually know the spot when to stop okay so get someone who actually knows and can see the signs and the signals of when to back off okay um, that's actually really important um, the results um, 
you could get them immediately. You might sit up and, and from the table and get them immediately. You might feel fantastic. Um, it's like a deep relaxation, um, an hour of deep relaxation, which is really cool. Um, a lot of people fall asleep through it, which is fantastic. Um, it's no problem because you'll still get all of the, the same effects. Um, and, and you might just feel like you're on a high. Um, and come back in a few weeks time and get another one and the same thing. Some people feel a little bit um, drained after the first one um, and possibly after the second one and that's just because there's, there's, there's a lot to let go of and that's fine. Um, you will start to see results within the first two to three weeks definitely in your, in your life, um, in your health, um, in your well-being and possibly in the well-being of others around you as well. Um, um, the next thing I want to talk about is why explore Reiki 1 training. Um, I highly recommend um, if you are interested in this stuff and you are on a path um, towards enlightenment um, or towards um, healing or personal development and you're, you're a reasonably spiritual sort of a person or you would like to explore, explore being a little bit spiritual um, and, and, and you like the idea of universal life force energy and the idea of helping others. Okay, So if you're a natural um, light, work, a light worker um, then Reiki is is, is something definitely for you. Um, so Reiki One training, it's a one day training um, that you can do. Um, I strongly suggest you do face to face. Um, don't do, there is training available online um, and they can attune you from a distance like from overseas. I don't recommend that. I recommend that you actually find a Reiki master that you feel comfortable with um, and, and create a relationship with that Reiki master and then um, get the training and the attunement okay so you become attuned um, to this this the flow of this universal life force energy through you you don't have to be a clean channel to do this by the way um, it will work no matter where you're at in your life um, and people will feel the difference absolutely I'm just saying that it's a bit more powerful if you, if you do have a much clearer channel um, even if you're just not eating meat for instance that that will actually help um, or you don't drink alcohol for instance that that will help with your channel um, and so it's a one day um, training program, you get a booklet, um, you, you create a relationship with your Reiki master, you learn about this, this life force energy, you learn the ancient symbols that they've been using. Um, Reiki has been used um, uh, across the world for the last 90 years um, and it was um, an ancient art that was uh, resurfaced after thousands of years of it sort of being lost. Um, uh, and Mikao Yashui um, over in Japan actually um, re resurfaced it and introduced it to the Western world. And for the last 90 years, we've been using it quite, quite, quite a lot. And there's a lot of Reiki One uh, practitioners out there. So if you're a Reiki One practitioner, you will be able to give Reiki to others. Okay, you'll be attuned to do that. You'll be taught the symbols, the special symbols that you can use on people, um, and you'll be able to give Reiki to yourself which is fantastic because that means you don't need to keep going back and receiving Reiki sessions from, from the Reiki master or from anyone else. Um, uh, mind you, when I started um, the Reiki journey, um, I did go back to my Reiki master quite a few times and got more healing from, from her. Um, and, and that was really helpful because when, when you do have two souls working on the same job, um, it can be a very powerful experience to actually get a lot of that stuff out that you're trying to work on. Um, but daily now, I do Reiki on myself, um, and that helps to, to build my, my universal life force energy, increase my prana, um, maintain my health and well-being and my energy. Um, so I hope that's been helpful. Um, I will do another session on uh, the research that has been going on over in the US about the benefits of Reiki um, the, uh, and the actual extensive research they've done on patients um, in hospitals, in surgery, recovery times etc. Um, it's phenomenal and I'll, I'll definitely do a video on that a little bit later so that you can get a bit more information. Um, but please contact a, um, a, a local Reiki person um, or please come visit me if you'd like. Um, I've, got a Reiki, I've got Reiki training sessions coming up soon. I'll always have, I'll always be available to give Reiki training and to give Reiki. So um, uh, if you're interested um, give us a bell otherwise contact Reiki Australia, go online, Google Reiki Australia or Reiki wherever you are um, and find um, someone who is actually registered and preferably who is a Reiki master um, that can actually um, give you the treatment um, to give you um, in incredible health and well-being and peace of mind and and advanced personal development and, and it can actually start you on a on a, on a very um, beautiful spiritual journey uh, towards enlightenment as well if you want to work through the levels towards Reiki Master yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this and best wishes with your Reiki journey. Thank you.